Joe Walker is the twice Oscar nominated British film editor, best known for his work on the films of Steve McQueen and Denis Villeneuve. He worked as an editor on Hunger, 12 Years a Slave, Shame, Sicario, Blade Runner 2049, or Arrival. His films of McQueen and Villeneuve showcase experiments with flashback structures and cross-cutting. This video essay will focus on his personal approach to editing and how the mentioned collaborations have brought him to the forefront of his craft. The editing of Arrival is against many of the trends of the 21st century sci-fi cinema. In the Arrival, the scenes of explosions and cosmic skirmishes are replaced by long shots of clouds flowing down from the mountains onto the valley. In the article, Intensified Continuity, Visual Style in the Contemporary American Film, David Bordwell remarks the noticeable triumph of the intensified continuity, a traditional continuity amped up, raised to a higher pitch of emphasis. This results in more rapid editing. Based on data from the crowdsourced Cinematrics database, it's noticeable that sci-fi films have an average shot length of 6.2 seconds, while Arrival's average shot length equals 6.9 seconds. In his editing practice, Joe Walker noticed that not cutting the wide shot could be more powerful than trying to accentuate a moment with the close-ups. This could be noticed in 12 Years a Slave, with a dramatic scene where Solomon was almost hanged and is struggling to tiptoe with a rope on his neck. By not cutting a sequence, particularly a scene of extreme violence, the audience is not subconsciously reminded they are watching a film, which heightens emotional impact dramatically. Another example of this editing choice could be seen in Hunger, 16 minutes and 30 seconds of extended take, capturing the conversation, gives it an intimate nature. Joe Walker's allows shots to sink in, not losing the art, emotion and impact. It's carefully managed balance between giving enough space to invest in the characters and maintaining the story tension. The arrival's opening montage of a little girl growing up and then becoming sick and dying as a teenager is an example of using the pacing of the edits to help support the narrative and heighten emotion. It quickens at the end, just like Hannah's disease. Because of our understanding of the language of the film, our instant assumption is that opening montage is a backstory. Later on, the audience is challenged to question that theory. If we analyze the placements of the shots from the past sudden timeline, we can notice the way Joe Walker has shifted the perspective of the spectators and changed their perception of time. He accomplished this result with the use of the Kuleshov effect, a mental phenomenon where the audience gets more meaning from the interaction of two sequential shots than from one isolated shot. Just like many editors before, Joe Walker pushed one scene to the next, adding meaning to the previous image with the next one. However, where his approach departs from most films is that it intentionally creates a false assumption by cutting from the second image to the third one, making the absolute most of this effect. Based on this one information, the audience will create their understanding of the main character and it will take them the rest of the story to realize what it meant and that their conclusion will turn out to be false. And all it took for Joe Walker to plant this idea were two cuts. In the article written by himself, Walker admits that one scene in Arrival was particularly challenging. It was the beginning of a long piece of the story which he tried to discard, but it had an essential piece of information. As an experiment, Walker very crudely strung together only the new pieces, however, the outcome was jarring. Luckily, that day he would see the first test shot from Hybrid's Wi Fi X team. This inspires him to hold on Louis' look of camera, and instead of going to a matching reverse revealing Weber, he cut to the alley encroaching in the corner. By retelling this part in the edit, he gave the story new quality, signaling early that all is not as it seems. Over the years, the audience have gotten used to the films, which are very fast cut to help accentuate the pace of the film and actions of the characters. That's why Joe Walker's editing style is so refreshing. His use of long shots and cutting sparingly maintain viewers' attention. Due of his knowledge of the past of the editing, he gives this craft new quality for the future. It's a combination of being technically skilled and having uh, an eye of what uh, audiences want a good story. 